What's up, Mentorship Freaks? It's a daily dose of the Mentorship Motivator. Today, we're talking about finishing freaking strong, ending on a positive note, going out with a freaking bang. Now, this means, well, think about it, like in boxing, when we're boxing on a, on a drill, the combinations, you're doing a combination three, four punch combo, the last punch is always just like, bam, a bomb, uh, Make it going out with a bang every time. Like it might even be pop, 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 boom, and finish off with a strong punch. Finish strong, end on a positive note. Think of it like that. Think of ending everything with that power punch, with that positivity, with that motivation, with that fucking fire. You ever, you ever run, go running, maybe even in a race, or if you've done a race, probably even a marathon, maybe not always a marathon, but if you're running a certain distance, you're running, gonna run a mile, you're gonna run three miles, you're gonna say three miles, and you're finishing, you're dead tired at like a mile and a half. You suffer the second mile and a half, but now you're at the last, you're on the track. You're at the last home stretch, the last 100 yards, the last 200 yards, meters, whatever the fuck you measure. And you know the end is there, it's there. So you just have this immediate burst of energy that you could finish strong. That's what we're talking about here, finishing freaking strong. Now we're not necessarily talking about physically, but it is physical in a way. Finish every meeting you have, every meeting you have, every video you have. A live video, right? I'll, I'll try to finish it strong every time. I'm telling you, you are fucking awesome. I'm telling you, no excuses. You can do this. You can make this happen. Finish strong. Finish your sales sales videos strong. Finish your emails strong. Finish every meeting you have with your team strong. Finish an orientation, a group setting, a meeting, a presentation. Finish it freaking strong and powerful. Finish your day strong. Finish your week, an event, your month, your year, your fucking life. Finish it strong. Go out with a bang. Because... If you don't like, let's talk. Just talk just on the on the daily tangible level. Finishing a meeting strong. Say you're having a meeting, like we have our daily battle plan meetings with my leadership team. Imagine if it was just a big bitch fest with me just complaining about everything that's wrong. And there are times that I'll have to like put some things into place and be like, what the fuck? This and this and this. But guess what? We're gonna start with those victories the same way we do in our zoom meetings. But we're gonna finish it out strong. Finish it on a positive note. Otherwise, it's gonna leave a bad taste in people's mouth. And a bad taste in the people's mouth you, that you lead, no one's going to look forward to being around you. No one's going to look forward to the meetings you have. They're just going to dread it because they're going to leave the meeting feeling worse than when they came in. They should feel better after a meeting, better after any interaction. Anyone that has an interaction with you, even if it's negative, even if you have to write them up on something for disciplinary reasons, you should finish it out strong. Find a way to finish it strong. Of course, there's occasionally you're going to leave a negative thought in someone's head, but that's only intentional. Kind of like the POP in the green line, right? Pissed on purpose. So you're leaving a negative thought in someone's head just because you want them to sit on it and stew on it overnight to let it sink in. So that's still in a way finishing strong if you did that on purpose. You just can't be just leaving it negative because you're pissed off and you're in the red and out of control. End of a workout, end of a presentation, end of a speech, end of a Facebook live video, disciplinary meetings, finish freaking strong. End the week. Today is Friday. Finish the fucking week strong. We talked about it on Monday about how to kickstart the week, how to set the tone for the week. And on Friday, we want to finish the week strong by closing one deal, scheduling five sales meetings for the upcoming week, selling one item or whatever you do, selling an additional like whatever, a like for us, that means some supplement or whatever, other than closing a deal, selling some products that you offer, whatever. Also get one new review, get one new referral from a current client on Friday, finish the fucking week strong. So you feel like you close out the week with success, with a victory, and it's going to give you momentum into the next Monday, which then you're going to, of course, hit the ground running and kick ass on that Monday, right? Own your fucking Monday, like we talked about on Monday. So end the week, Friday, just like you fueled the week on Monday. Friday sets the tone for the upcoming week. So end the week strong. It's it's just like you don't you don't want to go to sleep mad, right? You never want to go to sleep pissed off or thinking about something. So you do a brain dump at night if you have to. Write down it on a piece of paper what you have to get done the next day. Do some meditation where you can drop those negative thoughts out of your head before you go to sleep. Something like that. You don't want to go to sleep pissed off. You don't want to go to sleep mad because that, that's going to set the tone. That's going to ride the wave and the momentum. You're going to wake off pissed off, probably with a headache. Probably didn't get good sleep, first of all, that you needed. So figure it out. Get over it. Grow up. Don't act immature or bitter or resentful about anything. When it comes to how, like before you're going to sleep or when you're ending a meeting or whatever, you need to... You're on it. You have a team. You're on a team, right? Treat it like a team. You're on a team because that's what it is. 
So don't let things piss you off. A team meeting, team members, you have to finish it strong. You have to finish every meeting, every encounter on a positive note. Because guess what? If you don't, that's all that person's going to remember. No matter how the meeting went, if it finishes on a shitty note, they're going to remember that shit. It needs to finish strong. It's kind of like, what have you done for me lately? That's what they're going to remember. And then schedule, finish the week strong by scheduling time for your own learning on Friday also. Schedule time for your own learning so you can just feel like, even if you didn't get a chance, of course we know we're going to work on the weekend, but even if you couldn't get work done on the weekend or time for your learning or reading, whatever, you know you finished that week strong so you can kind of not stress it for the weekend. But we know we're still going to because we're fucking savages and we're killers and that's what we do. But the point is, finish fucking strong. Finish with a climax. Go out with a bang. Maybe that came out wrong. Don't finish, whatever. You get the point. Your dirty mind's in the gutter. Go out strong. Finish strong. Finish week strong. And that is it. I will talk to you later. This is the Mentorship Motivator. If you have any questions, comments, put them down below. You are fucking awesome. No excuses. And you can finish strong. Just like I'm going to finish this video strong. Finish strong. Finish with energy, intensity, enthusiasm, with hope, with freaking passion. Finish the fucking week out strong this Friday. I will talk to you later. No excuses.